Hey, I'm Joe with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the Oxford Boss Alarm Disc Lock, available at Revzilla.com. So Oxford got started in Oxfordshire, England in 1973. They're one of the largest manufacturers of motorcycle parts, apparel tools, all types of motorcycle stuff. So what we have here is an alarm disc lock designed to deter thieves from stealing your motorcycle. It's available as a standalone unit or with an additional chain. So as a standalone unit, it comes in around $110. And then depending on the length of chain you decide to get with the one that does include a chain, it can range from $160 to $200. Now don't forget, Revzilla does offer that price match policy if you do find it for less elsewhere. So if you're looking for a traditional style disc lock, Oxford does offer an alarmed one called the Alpha XA14. Now that's the type of lock that just goes onto the brake rotor itself and doesn't have the ability to hook a chain to it. So there is an alternative out there. That one comes in around $90. So this is a universal fit item designed to be used with disc brake bikes. Now, I personally have a bunch of old bikes that have drum brakes where you could put this shackle through the rear sprocket, which would prevent the bike from being rolled. And of course, the alarm would go off once uh, the bike is messed with. So that's a good alternative for folks out there that maybe don't even have disc brakes on their bikes. So Oxford markets this as their strongest lock, and it includes a 100 decibel alarm. It has a double uh, locking feature where the shackle is completely removable. It's a 14 millimeter thick shackle, super duper thick. And if you do go with the option that includes the chain, the chain itself is 12 millimeters thick. Um, this is super duper heat treated stuff. It's very, very hard to cut. Um, so definitely a, a lot of engineering went into creating very strong metals that are hard to be tampered with with these. So when we talk about the alarm system, um, it's heat proof, uh, freeze proof, shock, dust, all, you know, anything that you could throw at it, it's gonna resist it. So it's really ideal for folks who maybe wanna just toss this under the seat of their motorcycle or scooter or whatever. Um, it can definitely take a beating. Um, as far as changing the batteries in it, it's super easy to do. We'll get into that in just a second. So let's talk about using the lock. So it includes three keys. Um, so you could set this up disarmed. You know, you could, you could put it on your motorcycle without the alarm able to go off like I have it here. So hopefully the camera can pick this up. There's a red arrow on the lock itself here and then a red band on the shackle. So I'll unlock this here. Right now the alarm is not set so I can move it around and it's not going off. So there's a little slider that covers the keyhole and then the key itself will go in and then you can disconnect the shackle itself. So you can see again, the red arrow and the red band on the shackle. Now when you align those and you set them together, you can hear that initial beep, it means it's uh, armed. So now it's armed. So if someone goes to fool with it, you could see, you know, if someone was trying to, you know, it'll start going off. So of course you could disarm it by putting the key in, pull it out. So the alarm will continue to go off in 10 second bursts. So uh, if someone stops tampering with it or maybe somebody bumped the bike by accident and it goes off, it'll reset itself every 10 seconds. So my only nitpick with this lock is that Oxford made it very apparent where the speaker is for the alarm sound to come through. So it does make it easy to kind of just cover that with your fingers and really quiet the alarm down. You could still hear it, of course, but it definitely cuts down the piercing sound of the alarm by covering that. So hopefully maybe the next iteration of this lock will maybe have a not so obvious speaker on it. But I'll put it back together without it armed, just like so. Now changing the batteries in it is a piece of cake. When you have the shackle out, there's one screw here and a little drawer that allows you to pull the uh, battery tray out. And it uses some LR44 batteries. They're little watch batteries, there's six of them. So really easy to replace. Just be mindful that it's sometimes not that easy to find that type of battery. So you might wanna stock, stock up on those before you need them. The only other nitpick I had is that um, it doesn't include a minder cable. So this lock in previous generations used to come with that and now it doesn't for some reason. They do sell that for an additional $4. Now, I think that that is a very, very important piece to having a disc lock on the motorcycle. Now, to take you back to one of the first dates I had with my wife that, or my, my girlfriend that became my wife. I had put a disc lock on the motorcycle. We came out from the movies. I forgot about it. We go to ride away and we both go over the handlebars. So uh, that $4 for the reminder cable is a very, very worthwhile investment. Thankfully, the bike and my girlfriend that became my wife didn't get damaged, so here I am. But 
I would invest in that uh, when you go to put one of these on your bike. Uh, but great option from Oxford. If you'd like to see what other riders have to say about it, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. And if you have any questions about this or anything else you see on our website, give our Gear Geeks a shout at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email to cs at revzol.com. Thanks for watching our video today about the Oxford Boss Alarm Disc Lock. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time.